Hey there, art lovers! Today, we're going to dive into the world of the one and only Francois Boucher. Let's uncover what experiences shaped his unique style and creativity. Born in Paris in 1703, Boucher's early life wasn't easy. He lost his parents at a young age and was raised by a humble family. But guess what? Those tough times only made him stronger and more determined to pursue his passion for art. Boucher started his artistic journey as an apprentice to an artist, and man, did he learn a lot. He soaked up knowledge like a sponge, experimenting with various styles and techniques. It was during this time that his love for history and mythology grew deep roots. Fast forward a bit, and Boucher went on to become a prominent painter in the 18th century. His subjects ranged from history to landscapes, and he even dabbled in portraiture but it was his ability to capture the softer, more intimate moments of life that truly set him apart. Take the death of Meliga, for example. This masterpiece depicts a tragic scene from Greek mythology. Boucher's use of rich colors and emotional expressions create a sense of drama and sadness that's hard to ignore. Then we have the delights of life in the country, a painting that showcases the joys of rural living. Boucher's attention to detail and his ability to depict the natural beauty of landscapes is simply stunning. One of his most famous works, Sylvia Saved by Aminta, tells a romantic tale of rescue and love. Boucher's use of delicate brushstrokes and soft colors perfectly captures the tenderness and passion of the moment. And what about morning? This painting perfectly captures the serene beauty of a new day, with its soft, pastel hues and peaceful vibe. It's like a ray of sunshine. But Boucher wasn't all about the pretty moments. He also loved to capture the fun and excitement of winter in winter fun. His playful brushstrokes and vibrant colors bring to life the joy and laughter of playing in the snow. Throughout his career, Boucher also explored the world of allegory. In Allegory of Painting, I and Allegory of Painting, too, he personifies the art of painting itself. These thought-provoking pieces invite us to reflect on the power and magic of art. Lastly, we can't forget about Pan and Syrinx. Boucher's sketch of this mythological couple is a prime example of his ability to bring mythological characters to life. The dynamic poses and intricate details hint at the passion and desire between the two figures. So, there you have it, folks. Francois Boucher, the master of capturing emotions and telling stories through his art. Join us as we delve further into his magical world and uncover the hidden depths within his works. Stay tuned.